Mississippi clean. That's a very down warm in welcome. Down in New I, I think we can. I think we can owe that warmness to our warm-up guy. Yeah. Was I, that Kevin? Did Kevin come out and? I, if, if, it feels like a real TV show. I thought like, is someone juggling out there. Is there was it an actual proper TV warm-up guy? That's Kevin Day. For those of you who are probably on the Reddit, maybe know that Kevin Day has has, has arrived along with our uh, a- a- ambition to just this is all a hobby, all this shit. I'm just a rich fat a- asshole that's just like I'm not I'm not trying to uh, accomplish anything other than just seeing what what the hell we can accomplish, but. Uh, Kevin Day is like the Alfred to my Batman, the microchip to my Punisher. Uh, uh, I love that he came out and did warm up. Uh, that's sort of a, it's a really triumphant uh, Asperger's story. I'm starting to think he might, he might not have Asperger's. There are so many cameras. I want cameras on how many cameras we have. <laughs> <laughs> we have like these racks of cameras, like Velcroed to pillars and things here in this, uh, this pretty unfilmable site. And uh, hello. Uh, and then there's, like, there's Chris back there, who's a genius, who's like, my, my, here's my goal. I, I haven't really been on the record about this. What are you doing, Dan Harmon? What are you doing? Is the podcast going to change? Are you doing anything? No. If, you, if all you do is listen to the podcast and uh, well, you cut your character or on the way to work, you're doing fine. You're, you can always do that. Who cares? Who gives a shit? I, it costs me nothing to do it, do, to talk, and costs you nothing to listen. And the, uh, what? Your driver's license is showing on camera right now. Uh. <laughs> we're, 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 we're filming your personal details right now. See, see that's Kevin. He's, like a, he's a hacker. He thinks like that. <laughs> He's, he's Alfred. He's like, Mr. Wayne, you should know that Deadshot has the ability to holographically simulate your next move. <laughs> um, why would you be thinking about that? Because, because, if I, because, if, because if Kevin were working for the dark side, we'd all be dead. I was, I was just told tonight's the last show where I get to use music of my choosing. That we have to go to, we have to, go to like, a non-licensed music from now on. That is one thing that I will admit is... Yeah. Show's yeah. over, everybody. <laughs> I think I think that's I think you know that is the one thing it's like uh, that is a that can, is a price can, we will pay. Can we just do it until someone tells us to stop? <laughs> yeah. Like remember uh, there was a show on Channel One Hundred and One called House of Cosby's where I did a voice on Justin Roiland made it and then we got a call from Cosby's people it's like stop doing that but we we, we got a, we got five or six House of Cosby's out <laughs> before that before that happened and then we just stopped doing House of Cosby's. Yeah. Stop doing that. Uh, I'm a bit. Bu- I'm busy. I'm busy with the women's and the drugs oh, and. Oh boy! The- Come to my cabin to discuss the creative endeavors. Okay. Well, whatever. Hey, could- all right. Let's not. It's not too soon for that shit. It's, uh, it's, uh, some things it's supposed to be too soon. So, uh, uh, person. Uh, so, anyways, I don't. I, did, I didn't really get around to. I, 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 what you're watching is like I don't know. I'm like the Howard Hughes of uh, narcissism. I'm just. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just. No, I'm just ha- Howard just, Hughes was the Howard Hughes of narcissism. <laughs> I'm just seeing what we can do. I, 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 I guarantee you one thing: you'll never anything that you haven't that you've never paid for. You're never going to start paying for it. I'm not going to suddenly tell you that costs a quarter. I don't think. Um, I, I don't. I don't. I, 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 I. What I. What I am going to do experimentally because I, my fan to see as a Minecraft player is like about autonomy, like efficiency. I want to create like a solar powered, like, like, like biodome of, uh, of a, of a, of a, of a video podcast where like all these guys like Chris back there, Dustin, our producer, Kevin and people who help us, if they could draw salaries off of all of the energy that they put into the show, if people were on a subscription basis, which seems to be the model that kind of works, if people are willing to pay for things that they want if they want to go the extra mile, they're making a donation at the same time as they're buying the product, they're subscribing to it. I'm going with the porn model because uh, because the truth what's, is like, what's her name? Uh, for 20 years, uh, you know, r- rich rich white men have been trying to figure out how to monetize the internet. But almost as soon as it started, a a class of very uh, independently minded like uh, poor women uh, immediately figured out like you you you'd think that they were being exploited every time you see like that there's a lot of exploitation of pornography, and I'm sure there is. But there's also a lot of very impressive like. 
it's there's a lot of entrepreneurship and like independent like like people that know how to sell themselves uh, can do so very well on the internet, and that's what you can do. I was thinking, let's take a page from their playbook. Like, if you love me so much that you can't get enough, if you want my dirty panties, like that's what you got to pay for. If you want to, if you want to just see something, you, you can probably get it illegally. Uh, give, give me a for instance there. Like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, what, there's no for instance. What's your dirty panties version? Of, no, the of... dirty panties is the video feeds. Oh, of, okay. Yeah, that's the dirty panties. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's the it's what you can see. Yeah. All right. It's bad to start a show talking about the show. It, 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 it's like trying to uh, uh, fuel a lawnmower on lawnmower liquid instead of gasoline. It shouldn't do that. The lawnmower won't start. We should have started with my new segment, questions about grocery stores. <laughs> Uh, how, how, how much, how, 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 how much do you, it's, it's, it's starting off great. I, I love this segment. I really love this segment. Cyber bullied. <laughs> don't, don't abuse this camera with, cam with camera tape. Now, now they can see that I'm a human being. <laughs> I'm a victim. Yeah. Also, we know your driver's license uh, info. Uh, well, and that was going to happen no matter. Yeah, that's a good point, I guess. But I'm, Wait, is, I, it, is that on the outside of your phone? What was happening there? Well, it's yeah, it's I bend it over backwards and. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. As a Sony employee, this is the least of my fucking worries. <laughs> Is it, is considering the news considers it juicy that Joel McHale got a discount on a TV, <laughs> like, you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm telling you, like sooner or later, like boy, oh boy, I'm good at emails, uh, <laughs> and I've been working for Sony for six years, and I mean, the shit you know is juicy. <laughs> I am good at emails, so uh, let's read a couple for us. Get, I don't know. get, get fired again, man. I remember, remember how exciting it was when you got fired last time. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we went on a tour and made a movie. It was great. Okay, so anyways. Uh, what was the segment? Grocery store questions. How All that music goes away in the next fucking Harmon Town. I, I'm going I'm to do as many musical things in the show as I possibly can. I, I until felt, I Bill Cosby like, himself calls me up and says, don't do it. It felt like Big Red was back, didn't it? it, was, it was oh, like, I miss Big Red. Yeah. Where did he go? He died in a Shoney's explosion. Is, is that right? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so, so <laughs> 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 he was on no. like a year it's, and a half. It's, it's, it's always too soon for Adam Goldberg. <laughs> Adam Goldberg is so jealous of the most loved person to ever come up on stage. <laughs> It's like they, I guess the Hamburglar probably hates Grimace. Big purple. Goes home at night, just stabs his Grimace eyes, and then uh, the um, I Christmas uh, or no, not Christmas questions. That's our next segment. Um, grocery store questions. How? What do you think one costs? What a, do you think? a grocery store? Yeah, how much? If you wanted to buy a grocery the store, the whole thing fill, filled, filled with stuff. Filled with stuff. Yeah. Empl employees, the whole tr the trucks, the delivery. The employees, I don't know. <laughs> You're saying just if you want to buy one outright. Yeah, like like a, like like right, I guess let's let's keep let's keep the fact that it's like a business and the, 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 the let's let's just go with all of the things in a grocery store, minus the things in back. I think you get one for three hundred and fifty thousand. I think that takes it away. That seems very conservative to me. All right, okay. I feel like Adam, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, and obviously, if you're, you're saying that all of the Skittles, all of the marshmallows, all the frying pans, all the pantyhose, they all add up to three hundred fifty grand. You're just saying all the stuff out of the shelves. The, the furniture too, like the, the, the cash registers and all the apparatus, or just just the items that you could buy in there. I'm just saying all the shit on the shelves in the public area. Anybody? Wait, wait, let's, let's let's start the bidding. What do you guys think? One twenty-five. One twenty-five. That's three. Two million three? No, that's too much. Bullshit. You think all the food in a supermarket costs two million dollars? Five. 
I haven't even actually thought of my own guess, but I guess two million three does okay. sound high. But I actually, I was like, now we're talking. Okay, let, let, <laughs> let's highball it at two million three. Let's say that's the number. Let's let's, let's call it two million three. What, what do you mean? Let's say that's the number. This is part of your premise: is how much does it cost? Right? Oh no no no! I well I okay well. I'm sorry. What, what, was, what, was, what, what was the name of this uh, segment again? <laughs> it's grocery store questions. But... <laughs> Our show is eating itself. <laughs> I, uh, what I was wondering, I was in a grocery store recently, which is a rarity for me since I was 35, and I found out that you can escape that life. By having an assistant, or what? Yeah, or a girlfriend, or... <laughs> okay. The combinations thereof. Okay. Uh, D- different services, websites, whatever I do, to, whatever you. I can do to so stay you, out of the So you rarely place. walk physically into a, a, a supermarket? I try not to. It's a bad okay. place for bad people. <laughs> But my but but before that, before thirty five, I spent a lot of time in them. It's a common location. I always I find myself wondering, for instance, like what would happen if uh, centipedes attacked, like like giant centipedes, like like centipedes the size of Dobermans, <laughs> attacked a grocery store. Like where would you hide? Like like I think about that stuff. I would I would write a script about that. I would set it in a grocery store, and I would feel comfortable doing that because I've spent a lot of time. I've logged my grocery store hours. Where would you hide from Doberman-sized centipedes inside a Trader Joe's? I would I would, well I would I would. It, I'm assuming that they're coming in like the front door. Okay. So first there would be this like period of like Jesus Christ, what's happening? Someone's screaming, right. and everyone flocks to the screaming. And then you see that are there's, these, like, this are, CG monster. Are these Doberman-sized centipedes out to kill people? Like, yes. For, okay, they're after people. Yeah, they're monsters. This is a movie. Okay. They, and so there's, like, a CG centipede, like, killing, I don't know, Susan Sarandon or whatever. It's, like, a cameo who's, like, the first to die. You got, you got her so you could get funding. The, the, uh, and so she's getting eaten. And then, and then, and then there's going to be a guy who's, like, the most heroic but the, first to, the second to die because he grabs, like, a egg beater and goes, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And then the and, and he's like a, he's like a Ca- really cast by who? Who do you cast? Who's your guy for that's this? That's Chris Pratt for sure. Because <laughs> again, he's a cameo, and he's a, it's like listen, we'll we'll drag your body out and and set it on fire in the first act, and just come by for a day of shooting. I'd really appreciate it. But like somebody like charges the thing with an egg beater, and it's like the big beefy guy that you thought was the hero, because of course this is an ironic age, and you have to remove that guy. It's like the post survivor world of it's not the alpha male uh you were counting on it's the you know it's the um whoever the new uh 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 who's that ibm pc kid uh john long 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 john justin long i'm sure he's 53 now but (laughs) whoever the new him is uh assuming someone from yo gabba gabba i don't know what do you what do you people watch some Pokemon would, would like, and he's like, I'm only at the grocery store because I have asthma. Oh, I have to fight the centipedes? I know all about them. Now, who the hell invited this goddamn centipede expert? <laughs> to our grocery store. Also, who keeps inviting people to our grocery store? Also, what's my statement? I- I've been, a, I've been a meat salesman for 35 goddamn years. <laughs> this is my Keith David impression. Uh, as I, like, like, uh, this is a good cast so far. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, he works at... He's the... He's the, uh, he's, the, he's, the, he's, the he's the... He's the... He's the... He's the... He's the pivot. He's the, he's the black guy in the monster movie. What am I... Why am I... Why am I... Mincing words. He's Keith David, and he works in the butcher section, and he's like, God damn it, what are these goddamn centipedes going on? And then, and then when the kid, the kid starts going like... Uh, he's like, actually... That species wouldn't technically be called a centipede. It's, uh, they, they, they can see heat, but not color or something. <laughs> and, and, and then Keith David's the one that goes like, God damn it, am I taking orders from my boss or this goddamn nerd over here? But then he, like, he's the guy, like, all I know is that this kid said three things and they all turned out to be right. <laughs> And everything you're saying, and then every time the kid says something like, a centipede's follow, there's a thermographic entity. Wait a minute, are you telling me these goddamn things can see heat? <laughs> and that's his job. Translate for the streets. <laughs> All right, where, where was that? So my question about grocery stores is... <laughs> Wait, 
We're moving way too slow. I got a list of shit. Uh, my question about grocery stores is how... <laughs> I, the reason I want to know how much they cost is because I want to buy one because I want to know how easy is it to push over the uh, shelves? The whole thing? Yeah, because you always think of it when you walk in. Like, you think that you're in a room and that, like, part of the room is that there's these aisles, but those are just things they put up. The reality of a grocery store is it's a big empty warehouse. And they just put up these, like, shitty... I just wonder, like, if you... I want to, like, run up and, like... like, 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 like I want to push. Like, how, how hard would you have to push to knock over a whole grocery well, store? It depends. 150 pounds. It, 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 I think well, it's... Huh? Li- library... Well, you know, I, I know, I feel like I understand a library. Like, like, like I feel like, like... Like, I feel like I know when I look at a library shelf, like, what, what I would have to push to make it happen. <laughs> And I, and I don't even, but I don't even, but also it's like, let's see if that feels profane, lady. I, I think if you went at the bread, uh, the, the bread aisle, that would be the lightest one because bread is like a, very airy. I think if you, 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 you can take down the frozen foods. I don't think it has a lot cans. to do with the, con- I, 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 well, I, I don't know, no, I don't know if those does. things are anchored to the ground or if they just like, yeah. Did anyone work, work in a grocery store here? Did you work at a grocery store? You worked at a super target? What's a super Whoa. target? <laughs> Please welcome our first guest, Super Target employee. Yep. What's your name? Uh, it's Scooter. Scooter? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> someone said fake. Is it, is it an acronym? Self contained yeah, underwater. Uh, my last name? Uh, Target employee? Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's my last name. My first name is Matt, but I'm from a place that had like too many Matts, so yeah. it's easier to go by my last name. All right. Was well, it Scooter? Like you have an accent and you sing Scooter? Or is it? Uh, so it's S K U T A. S K U T A. Scooter. And Scooter. then the T is usually pronounced with a D for some reason. Scooter. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Scooter. Scooter. Super Target. Talk. <laughs> okay. Tell us about it. Uh, so they're not out here for some reason, but there are, uh, there's several different types of targets. There is the normal target. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> this is a... With, 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 if Liam Neeson did this speech, <laughs> it would be terrifying. Yeah, yeah. No, the, uh, uh, there's uh, something called a P-Fresh target, and those are the ones that are out here. Mostly. P-Fresh? Yeah. It, is think, that like some horrible, I, cynical I th- attempt at the urban demographic? I think... I think, the, I think <laughs> I think uh, no. The the P stands for produce, so it's like a, it's a slightly bigger target that has a produce section oh. and a relatively big grocery section, and then a super target has a full grocery section, including like a like a butcher, uh, a deli, a candlestick maker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they're they're just bigger. Wow, super target. All right, yeah. so you worked in a super target. You've worked around these shelving units that yeah. grocery stores and things have. have, have you, so you've, you've are, they, are they fixed to the floor? Can, can, uh, can no, they be moved? The, the only ones that are kind of fixed to the floor is like the, the frozen sections, like you mentioned. Like right. they, they do have a lot of like electrical stuff that so they are nailed down. Uh, all the other shelves are just really bottom heavy. Because we do like around like a seasonal time, like the uh, like we're, we're getting real information about fucking <laughs> so, so called, like, life, like, life hacking. I love yeah. our we, yeah. we would be the best trivia like team if we all went to a bar and played. So bar they trivia. put heavy shit on the bottom. Oh, it's, not, it's not just that the uh, so it's, it's, an empty shelf is incredibly bottom heavy. Oh okay. Uh, and then yeah, when they when they, when they do like they do like pl- they're called planograms. And that's the way like you get a sheet. planograms, and that is how you're supposed to set up the shelf. Like wh- what goes on the bottom, what goes in the middle, what goes on the who top. Who decides that? Uh, there are people who that is their job. At Target, or, at, or how, how much does Big Snicker uh, like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so Big Snicker has like a lot of say in it. Like there, like there are like certain uh, parts of the store where it's, it's they're like we really want it this way, and then there are certain things where like well you know flexibility here. And then as things like sell out, like in the store, we can't have empty shelves. So people have to go around and then re- decide how we're going to flex out the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they call it? Yeah. It's called flexing. So they're trying to make you feel like you're working for Patrick yeah, no, Swayze. Okay, okay, no. so I will say this one but you don't work at a super target. No. This is a fucking bank heist. Let's flex out. No. Okay. So an, an, an insane thing about Target is like the, I think like the slogan is like, uh, Expect more, pay less. But the corporate slogan is the greatest company ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so like so not no no where like where you'd see, but if you go like in the back room or if you go like in the break room, there are these posters on the wall like like 1984, where it's Target's uh, headquarters in like uh, Minnesota, Milwaukee, it's somewhere in somewhere up north. And it just has like a giant animated Target logo, and then in big bold letters, or I think it might be the best company ever. So the best company ever. <laughs> and you're just like, you're like, and it's okay. <laughs> I, God Himself couldn't destroy the Target. <laughs> I defy you, Lord. Like, I, I've never been blown away by it, but I guess I guess it's the best company ever. All, all, I, know, <laughs> all I know about Target is once in a while, for some sad reason, you have to go to Target. You have to go yeah. get a thing. You go, oh, God damn it! I need a I need a I need a trash can for my kitchen. I gotta go to fucking target and then all it's the most depressing afternoon of your life it's the worst it's not super yeah i will say about target though when i was how old are you scooter you look like i can ask uh 23 i was gonna say 23 like around <laughs> around around that age when you is like when i was getting my first like steps into like oh i i have an apartment or whatever that like i have a property i uh I need a plunger. I need a dish rack. And, that, and it's Target, well, at least in yeah. Wisconsin it was. It was like, that is the synagogue you go to to, you know, achieve manhood. Uh, very late manhood in an infantilized uh, empire where you're like picking your dish rack and you're like, you know, oh, there's eight kinds of, of, of brush that I thought just grew out of my mom. <laughs> And that I now realize I need because it's like there's shit everywhere. Oh, mom used a brush. There's a brush aisle at Target. It's like kind of fun. Like Target is sort of a religious. Like it's like a like a little c- c- cove in the woods for 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 me. I'm sure there's other stores that accomplish that fact. Uh, how, how long did you work at Target, Scooter? Uh, so I worked there for like 2008 to 2012. And did you climb the ranks? Can I, I, I'm hoping there's names for your job description that are very hilarious. Kind of, yeah. So I, I started as a cashier. Right. Uh, and then, and that is genuinely the worst job ever. Really? Yeah. So, well, at least I thought it was. It just, I, you have to deal. So you're kind of dealing with people kind of constantly, and and their main, they, you know, people like to make the jokes, and those get annoying very quickly. Like if you're if you're just a little bit too slow scanning something, the person will go, oh, I guess it's free, and you just want, yeah, you really want to just kind of throw it in the bag. Go, yep, it is. Now you're stealing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I feel but, like it's all free. And you're yeah, so so I was having like so I was kind of like, dealing with kind of those same jokes over and over again. It became incredibly frustrating. So when anything ever needed to be done in the store, like we need someone to take out the trash, I was like, I will do it. So they're like, oh, this guy really, he's really trying to work hard. <laughs> so and not just not talk to just people. to get away from people. Just to get away from the ke- the check lanes because I didn't I didn't like that uh, kind of the repetition there. And so I ended up I did uh, I volunteered to be trained on the cart pusher in the parking lot. So I pushed. So, I, so then I went and did that, and then I did uh, a guest service. So you like Charlie Sheen in Platoon? Like yeah. you were a cashier, and then you're like, "Can I go and can I yeah. go push carts?" <laughs> so another really bizarre thing was Keith David out Keith there. David. Going, <laughs> is why are you pushing carts? Yeah. Uh, Sniffing that cross, man, that pussy down by the river. That, we got ourselves a goddamn hero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got here's a crusader. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Like like another thing with like the new speak though is like uh, you can't. Uh, if if, you, if you're heard by one of your higher ups, your team leads, uh, calling a customer, or sorry, a guest, a customer, you'll get a talking to. A like, guest. Yeah, you have to go, it's like they're guests. You have to call okay. them guests. And right. when is carousel? So seventeen percent, seventeen percent. As we all slowly your, die. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the irony is, it's a Logan's Run joke about how when you're so old, you have to die. Uh, uh, all right. Well, Scooter, I, I got a full plate tonight. Yeah, you're no, lovely. I, I think we could have done a two-hour Target show. Oh yeah. I, 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 you're charismatic. You're full of you're full of energy. You you make everyone uh, pumped with Target steam. <laughs> uh, uh, let's have a hand for Scooter. <laughs> Very, very fresh-faced, like a Boy Scout energy. I like Scooter. And, and Target didn't crush his soul. Like it seems like that's yeah. A, a, it's, that's that's either nice or it's either uplifting or or yeah. horrible. I, I worked at, I worked at a Trader Joe's briefly when I was seventeen, and it was the worst. The All right. worst. I'm gonna go down the checklist, and we're oh, gonna yeah, start yeah. triaging because there's things that we'll just. Did, did 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 we answer your question about knocking things over in a supermarket? No. Well, you know, well, yeah, they're they're bottom heavy. It's like it kind of makes makes more sense. Like Scooter, if 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 you, me, and Dan ran with all of our might towards let's call it 
the bread uh, uh, aisle. If we if we went right at the center of it and at the, at the highest part, like the highest center of gravity, and we just tried to knock it over, could three people knock it over? I don't think so. I, you, say, I think you could dent one of the shelves, but the shelves are also removable. So I think those would take the right. How many people would it take to knock over a full thing <laughs> and start a domino effect down the, down the thing? I, I think it would be hard to do it because, like, it is, like I said, it's bottom heavy, but the bottom shelf is like, you know, it's like six feet. So yeah. you can't, your arms aren't long enough to do it. Mm. I, think, I think they thought about this. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Did, did, did you hear that, America? Stop the it. ownership class has thought about it. Have you? Your move. But don't name me in the... I don't get to... Okay. All right. Here's a... Here's a come on. All right. I, 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 I was really compelled to talk about Lena Dunham tonight. I, I can sum it up. Just leave her alone. She, uh, fuck you uh, if you're, like, trying to burn her at the stake. Okay. Moving on. You can uh, go, Google that. I, I got, our, our friend uh, L- L- Linehan was here last week, and I've, I, I noticed him tweeting about some, something about, about uh, Ms. Dunham, and then I went down a rabbit hole Googling. What's he talking about? She's, she, she's undergoing what I would describe as a Salem level of like uh, witch hunt and I guess that's a hot topic but and I, I don't imagine we have a lot of people in the audience going like oh no you don't have all the facts oh, I want to really be uh, I, I think it's more of a right wing left wing thing which I also don't give a fuck about but it's like <laughs> sometimes there are moments in this in this in this culture in our new hashtag uh, uh, social justice like awareness of, of each other and everything's evolving there are moments when there are things that you could do are bra- that are brave and there are things that you can do that are that are not brave, and you don't always have to do brave things. But I would urge people to knock uh, over the bread aisle to to the- run everything that you're about to do or say through a little one item checklist. Which is is this? Do I risk anything by saying this or doing this? Um, because if you don't, then it's not brave. What, are you making a gesture at me? Or are you rubbing your face? Okay, I'm like I'm like I. I um, it's like no, no, wait. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the new president just got elected. He's a misogynist. <laughs> got to cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut the segment. Cut the segment. Um, it, uh, j- I mean, uh, just, just, just Google it. I think it's a. Fa- I think what's ha- what, what is happening to her is fascinating. She is a creative. She shares things. She expresses things. She explores things. There are people who don't like. Uh, young women with power. I'm not be. I'm not trying to get a, a jump on a bandwagon of. I think it's actually. There are times when it's actually difficult to be a feminist. There are times when it's difficult to be progressive. When and I think that she is being ganged up on right now. It took me a very long time to get to the bottom of what was going on. There was a lot of shit on the surface that that that, that threatens to suffocate. Like what what is actually what what, what the deal is. I I urge you to Google it and and explore it because I think it's edifying. I think it's very interesting, um, and I won't I won't bother with any more time with that because there's probably a million podcasts that talk about it. And you can you can do your own exploring, but I, I, I ultimately it's like what do we do? I just I just want to know what is it? And I, I I why is it that when these things come up, why what is it in us? What is it in our national psyche where we when we hear uh, about, for instance, the topic of sexual assault or rape, that we, that, that, that we, we, that what, what muscle is it in us that flexes where we have to figure out if it's right or wrong or provable or all these things? Like, what are we doing? It's a question that needs to be asked. It doesn't have to come down to some battlefield where you're for or against anything. I, what, what is important, as is, whether these, like, like all of these, uh, you know, this, this the, the last week when we talked, we were talking about police brutality and all these things the questions that we emerge with are the important things to ask what is the role of police and I think like like with what is what is the point when somebody talks about sexual assault talks about rape ta- ta- whether they're joking about it whether they're exploring it in a memoir whether they're uh, I, I don't know there's probably eight other ways you could you could you could uh, uh, dance around that that hot fire um, what is there a responsibility are we supposed to are we police it, what is our what is our role? Why is it that we respond in certain ways to certain people? Just l- let's ask ourselves that. I I I I spent the day going down a rabbit hole. And it's like I, as as our friend Graham said in his tweet, 
I think that if you can judge people by who who their enemies are, I think you know Lena Dunham is. Well, I can't remember how he put it. Uh, she's 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 Christ. I don't know. That's not what he said. <laughs> But she's 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 being ganged up on, and it's it, it, it's pretty fucked up. All right, <clears throat> uh, Christmas questions. No, we can put that off till uh, after New Year's. Um, <laughs> sniffers. I don't like people who sniff things. Okay. <laughs> Okay, give, give me a for instance on that one. I just don't like sniffers. Like, 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 I don't, or I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to judge them. People walk into a shop and sniff something, or are, you, or are they like, like, what do you mean? What, we, we better bring out our guests. Like, <laughs> no, no not, not until you've explained sniffers to me. There's people who sniff things. There's people, there are people in the audience. I, w- I would love to talk to a sniffer. I, I dated a sniffer once. I need to know what you're talking about, like on a day to day. People who sniff, they sniff things, even though they know they're going to smell bad. Like, they sniff, they like, pick up like, a piece of shit off of and they'll be like, oh, oh. and it's like, what are you doing? Don't. Why are you? Why did you do that? Why did you sniff that? It's like a thing you found in a mailbox. I'm, I'm doing a camera take. Oh. <laughs> let's bring out. Wait, no, 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 no. We're not yeah, done with yes, sniffers. It's, 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 why? Who's who's sniffing what? Why, why are people sniffing things? Like, I, like. I don't know. You gotta like, ask are them. you talking about someone that goes into a bakery and goes, "This muffin. Do I want this muffin or that muffin?" They sniff the muffin. No, or you, you should sniff a muffin. Get, sniff <laughs> it. <laughs> The, the, your experience there is like defined by margins. Who like is, it's either going to be a bad smelling muffin. Who is who is sniffing what wrong? I, I, I don't understand yet. There are people who like obsessively like sniff everything they're about to eat. They sniff and they sniff like shit that they find. Like like they go like like what is this thing on the side of the napkin dispenser? Like the, is just, like 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 brown. <laughs> and then they'll be like, I was like, why are you sniffing it? Why, why, I, what? Who, who who did this? Who, There's got to be a sniffer in this audience. Is, is, is anybody? Is this resonating? There's a guy, there's a guy that's kind of like that. I'm telling I think it's like some kind of tick. Yeah. That, that you have to sniff things. You gotta e- sniff even, it. Even something that you know is gonna smell like something bad probably. It's too time consuming. The tar- A guy that worked at Target. I I'll fucking well, I want to talk about sniffing for the rest of my life. Let's talk about sniffing with uh, uh, I, I've, uh, my, my compulsion is to bring out both guests at once so that we can. Let's do it. Let, 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 let's bring out Kumail Nanjiani and John Roy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you sit too close to me, then it means you're gay. <laughs> oh, well, fuck then. All right, let's do it. Um, I'm with you on sniffers. <laughs> Anti-sniffing. You've I, met I, sniffers, right? Oh, yeah. Wait, this I, 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 I don't know whether it be for or against his stance. I don't understand. I haven't, be, I haven't I'm with fully him. explained what, what a sniffer... I don't even like when people are choosing muffins and then they sniff it. Like, well, don't take some of that. Where are their loose muffins? <laughs> Like Starbucks, they have them behind the counter. You can't just look at them and smell. I've like. been there when they're like, can I see that muffin? And people hand them the muffin from behind the counter. They smell it. And they're like, no, I want it. They'll different hand one. it to you? Yeah, they'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like sniffers. I just, I, you. I, 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 I've known people that like will take off their shoe and like they'll look at the bottom of it. And there'll be like some gum or something on it. And, oh, they'll, sure. and they'll sniff it. Yeah. That's the term, it's bog trotters, not just sniffers, but people who smell something nasty. You can B-O-G-T-R-O-T-T-E-O. Oh, I kind of want to not talk at all for the rest of the show. <laughs> Sit in silence for an hour and all go home. <laughs> 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 that would be an amazing like thing to do for yeah. his birthday. <laughs> you like, finally like, had the last word. <laughs> it's just wait, yeah, and give give Adam the gift of <laughs> showing him what would happen if everyone just listened. <laughs> And there would be, like, time enough at last when the glasses break, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, oh, everyone. And then he, and then he like, slowly walk up, and he'd be like, and another thing about this. You were saying this other thing earlier. And everyone would just keep nodding and listening. <laughs> <laughs> blog, blog trotters? Blog trotters. Blog trotters. Yeah. Blog trotters. <laughs> I always felt like... You know how when you're at a party and a couple people are talking and then someone yells out something from across the room and it kind of kills the conversation? <laughs> That's not happening here. <laughs> we, do, we do have a more open format yes. here. And it's Adam Goldberg. That's his role. Yeah, I mean... That's, that's his role. And our role is to 
be annoyed by it. <laughs> John Roy, what do you think of Adam Goldberg? Uh, I've never, I don't really know what the issues are. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a latecomer to this. Uh, I, don't, I don't know anything about the man, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys want something to talk about? Oh, can I, I say it. something, one thing real quick about Target? This, <laughs> we, I was at, uh, uh, this was a Brooklyn Target, and this to me encompasses Target and Brooklyn. <laughs> Emily was walking around, and she had a pen in her hand, and this guy yelled at her. He was like, why you got a pen in your hand? You're not at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's Target. Wow. <laughs> That's Stargate. <laughs> That's Stargate. <laughs> Stargate. Yeah, all right. Thank you. <laughs> applause break. One man applause break for Stargate. <laughs> That's, right. That's my audience. It's one person. <laughs> Thank you, <David. laughs> was, that you was that you, Adam? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to see the issues, I think, now. I think I'm, I think I'm getting caught up to speed. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Um, I'm with you on the Lena Dunham thing. We don't ever talk about it more, but it really angers me. I think she's so talented and so good, and it, it's 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 it is so gross. The methodology is the disgusting part. It's not. It's beyond like whether or not so, the attempt to make it an issue about whether something is or isn't or is right or is wrong. The methodology that people try to use when they attack people like is very telling. Uh, it's very disgusting. Like 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 the the it, it, it just gr- grosses me. out. Out. It really is like it sums it up to say like, wow, you really she's really an important person. She really fucking is forcing yeah. like weird ooze to come out of the ground on all sides all around because yeah. who had any idea that this was the, that this was still needed to be resolved? Like this idea that you can't as a fuck. I, well, we're she's, talking about it. now. She's going to be making awesome stuff for the next 50 years. It's it's I'm, is it, I'm my parents love girls are always telling me to watch it. Is it good? Is it that I I really like it. It's and even, yeah. Yes, it's good. She's a good writer. I would not want to get in a writing contest with her. And okay. she's 28. And I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm old. <laughs> I would not. I say that about very few people. Like, I would not. It's intimidating because she makes choices that I would, would, would not be instinctive for me to make, which is what an important writer does. I feel that way about Woody Allen. I feel that way about, uh, the, like, the writers that I really respect. Like, I, when I watch a Coen Brothers movie, when I watch like, I she's a good writer and that I would easily before I would even touch all of this ridiculousness and this political fucking socio-psychological bullshit I will definitely easily in a court of law prove to you that she's a good writer or your money back Um, (laughs) and that is why I guess the elitist side of me is a little invoked when uh, people gang up on her particularly for things because if you were a writer with a stutter uh, if you were a writer with a limp, if you were, a, you, you you could you your your uh, the thing that made it harder for you to uh, to uh, 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 wake up in the morning, um, even though it would fuel your work and make it important to other people, it wouldn't also be like the thing that people could throw at you. But for women writers in this modern world, it's like they're half the population, and it's not a disability to be a woman, and yet it gets thrown at you. <laughs> It's like so they're, 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 it's, it's like you can make people angry. This is becoming very clear to me. And I, three years ago, I wouldn't be having this conversation. I wouldn't be feeling the way that I feel about this. But it's just like everything is coming to the surface. Three, uh, like you can just make people angry just by being a woman. You really can. It's yeah. fucking true. Uh, and 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 you can especially do it by by doing that plus doing something like writing a television show. Yeah, I was uh, writing reading, a book. I was reading this interview for the CEO of Yahoo. I forget her name. I think it's Melissa. Marissa Mayer, and the interviewer described in great detail what she was wearing. Like, that would never happen to a dude. Like, th- it, it, all that stuff really, it's so insidious and you don't even think of it. But every time there's an interview with a woman, it's about what kind of shoes she was wearing before talking about how she thinks, you know. I was on, on Fox News on one of these shows, and uh, this the piggy host of the show made this comment about one of the female Fox personalities that she wasn't showing as much skin as she normally does. Me and uh, Andrew WK was the other guest. We looked at each other like, Jesus. I thought you were going to say Andrew Dice Clay. No, and I was, no. <laughs> he is more appropriate for their network. Yeah. But uh, So I looked at it. I go, that's fucking weird, right? And we're like, yeah, what a creepy joke. But it wasn't a joke. She came back later, changed 
with more cleavage showing because it was a serious order that she was given by the host. <laughs> I, like, I for sorry, real. That laugh was uh, laughing at something other than uh, her misfortune. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, all right. So, all right. Done with that. I, I really, I, I'm, seriously, what I'm saying is Google the shit and, like, spend 30 minutes because it's kind of a study in history that's happening around you right now. And I, because re- I honestly, as a 41 year old person with my full faculties and my ability to Google stuff, I went went from hearing some shit uh, to figuring out what the truth was. It took me an inordinately long time. And the truth is like, I mean, we, we just we'd have to do a whole podcast to talk about it. But uh, the bottom line is the is the is just it's there's aggression like toward people that people want that needs to be addressed. There need the 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 when you there it's not science. It's not argument. It's not debate. This isn't like an ancient Rome like platform where it's like, well, is this logical or another thing? You're hot. You're you. It's not true. You hate. You you don't like something. You're angry, and I and I think that I have felt that too. And I think I can understand it. But I think that it's like you have to look at moments of opportunity to to reverse or at least like let go of shit that is inexplicably driving you, uh, because before you know it, you're like you're like passionate about something and it doesn't make any sense that you're passionate about it. Like you're, you're like, you're like, you're like yelling at somebody and you're using your, your full IQ and all of your academic research to like wave a book in your hand and like yell at somebody about logic and flawed argument and all this stuff. But it's like, it doesn't matter anything you're saying. The whole reason why you went down that road with your book and with your IQ has to do with some weird moment with your mom in your kitchen. I, I, it's, it's just come, come down to that, which is kind of exhilarating. Um, and the aplomb with which she handles this, like, uh, this, this fucking, like, a 28-year-old? Right, I when could, I was 28, I fuck, dude, I would be like, why don't you like my band? Fuck you! Like, there was no, <laughs> like, I couldn't even imagine being, you know, responsible for any kind of responsible opinions. Yeah, I would have fled, I, 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 I leaked a Chevy Chase voicemail, and some Fletch fans called me an asshole, and I, I almost killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, al- I definitely almost left the country. I, 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 I and I, w- I was a 40-year-old w- white man <laughs> that had never had any problems in his life. I, I, and anyway, it is a pretty good movie. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's great. The Underhills. It's great. But I didn't do anything in front of his wife and kids. His kids are 50. All right. <laughs> there is children, Dan. <laughs> they, they were babies 49 years ago. <laughs> Sniffers, Gotham. I got sold on Gotham. We don't have to talk about that. That's like the nerd equivalent of uh, Lena Dunham conversation. <laughs> Gotham. Uh, somebody sold me on Gotham. Did you did, did you have a run in with a sniffer recently that brings us up? I'm, I'm, I sniffed some milk coming out of the fridge, and I thought, isn't it a drag when you have to sn- that we have to sniff milk? Because it isn't sniffing a debasing, horrible experience where you're like sniffing. Uh, yeah, but if you drink the shit milk, you want you want to have. That's sniffed what I'm it. saying. Like, I mean, fuck it. Bad I milk do this, is made it necessary, it. and that made me think of people who choose, or maybe don't. They don't choose. Maybe it's a compulsion. They live in a world of sniffing. They sniff shit they don't have to sniff. That's milk, what I thought of it. Milk, milk. You have to sniff if you if you if you if you go down the road of having milk in your fridge too long. You got to sniff the. You got to sniff milk. But kids. even if milk, kids, <laughs> Google Lena Dunham, learn about misogyny, and stop <laughs> and start. Sniffing Sniffing milk. <laughs> and stop sniffing everything else. Even if it's good, milk smells horrible. <laughs> That's true. It's you, like it's some, always organic. You always know it's from an animal. What other animal are there grown ups still drinking milk, let alone another fucking species milk? <laughs> <laughs> None. It's, it's, it's just us. We, we modified a gene to, to, to still drink milk after infancy. Like we're, we're crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Here's my, here's a, here's a continuation of my unsung heroes uh, uh, segment, which I started with Lena Dunham. Uh, unsung heroes. She's, what was that? Lena Dunham's pretty sung as a hero. She's fine. <laughs> what but song was that? It's uh, "You Drive Me Eight by the uh, by the uh, the Dickies. Oh right. All right. <laughs> hey, what's what? your favorite song of theirs, John? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, probably uh, uh, Sniffer. I think that's on. Their, <laughs> I think it's on their second EP. Uh, yeah. Bog Stompers or whatever. Yeah, Bog Trotter. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think Bog Trotter opened for Jethro Tull on the '72 tour. I think that's right, that yeah. was. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, you guys, what happened to Russell Brand? What uh, happened to him, Dan? I retweeted a thing that he said about how when he was poor and he complained about class, the class system, people called him what? I can't remember what he said. And then he... Uh, uh, <laughs> He had, a, he had a quote that somebody tweeted to me because probably because it reminded them as a Harmontown fan of things that I kind of express because I'm a I'm a privileged uh, I've cheated the system I, I live at the top I'm not a one percenter but I'm I'm I fucking I got a guy that mows my lawn um, the and and so you know uh, months back when I was like you know I was like ranting a lot about capitalism <laughs> remember that episode <laughs> you know sometimes the response is like is is, is like fuck you Why don't you give all your money away then. And I, and, I, and I was like, "That's fucking horse shit." Like, like well, the fact How's that, that I, a response to any system, like if you didn't like communism when you were in the party, be like, "Well, then give your power to some other dude." Yeah, that's like, pretty, why, that's why pretty convenient that? response to <laughs> crit- criticizing a system. Oh, yeah, so like, why don't you go fuck off? But, all right, why does that? How does that solve anything? Uh, the uh, and somebody sent me a, a quote that he had in some uh, somewhere. It said uh, that I immediately retweeted because I was like, "Oh yeah, exactly." It's like, and I I can't remember it exactly. It was like. When I was when I was poor and I talked about class, people called me bitter. a hater. Bitter, 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 a hater. <laughs> they told me I was drinking too much hater aid. Uh, when I was when I was poor and I talked about class, they called me a hater. When I was rich and I talked about class, they called me a hypocrite. Hypocrite, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's like I'm getting the feeling nobody wants to talk about class, um, and I retweeted it. And and you know I have 250 thousand followers. They're all pretty. Uh, what? Oh, th- yeah. No, that's thank you. Thank you. Um, th- 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 so this isn't even a sample size from the. This isn't a sample from the ocean of humanity. This is a sample from my Twitter followers. I j- overwhelmingly just a you know 10 or 20 people just kind of just just responding back to go like. I think maybe it's possible they don't want to hear from fucking Russell Brand. And I, 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 I just like, I get it. Like, you don't have to, like, like I, the weird thing is, like, I spent all of the time up until his disappearance from the earth, which, I, which is what my question is about, yeah. uh, going, why is he popular? I then, like Get Him to the Greek. I think it's a funny movie. I haven't is seen it. Wrong? It's a good movie. It's got a really nice Hollywood mainstream structure. There's Where no did he go? Is he now blacklisted? Is he... He wrote a book? Okay. He had a few movies in a row that didn't do well here, and I think he went back. So it wasn't because he became... <laughs> I, I, it, it wasn't because that's he That's what happens. That's what I'm terrified Lousy. of. Lousy. <laughs> <laughs> just like, sorry, didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I met him once and I had like, uh, like I was at a dinner with him and he was yeah, incredibly charming he was very smart and very funny and very he's nice he's very eloquent and, but also he's a uh, his shirt had buttons on it, but he wasn't using any of them. <laughs> he was, it was, it was completely unbuttoned. Like a Robert Plant-ish yeah, sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, but it was, it was like, maybe the, maybe the button that, that was so low, like it was below his belt, it didn't even need to be buttoned, because it, it was, it was, he was more or less shirtless the whole time. And when he talked, he talked to me and he talked to women, like he was just very, he gets right, right, right upon you. He's very, oh yeah, he's very nice. He's, he's chest to chest, nipple to nipple with Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes you feel very wanted. <laughs> I, th- I, think, I think for me that's what's for sale with like he, he kind of makes you feel like you're about to get maybe made out with by a, <laughs> by by a, an ex heroin user. It's very exciting. Our I- built-in spring-loaded mechanism by which anyone who lives a privileged lifestyle, like an actor who happens to be a celebrity, who should be so thankful for the lifestyle they've been granted by the government slash people slash people magazine slash government magazine the <laughs> there are instincts to clamp down on their necks until they're dead the minute they talk about anything other than uh, 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 red carpets and what yeah, you're they're wearing been bought off you know, the yeah. idea is that you thought, thought we had so a deal here. Up. You're yeah. famous, all right? Why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, um, I get like stick to your jokes so many times on Twitter. If I say anything that's like a some sort of opinion, a political or anything, I like, think it's so many times. I think it's fine. I don't want to. If, if Bruce Willis got on Twitter and was like, "Hey, you know, uh, six million is a pretty high number," um, you know, I <laughs> I think it's fine to say to him, "What you're in fucking Die Hard? Why are you a revisionist?" Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> got it. 
<laughs> that number has been 9 11 by the way, huh? Whenever you think of 6, six million, million, yeah, you yeah. can't be like, yeah. Certain numbers are ruined. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so a lot. Mean, yeah, way to go, Germany. You, you, oh, ruined, you ruined the number yeah. 6 million for everybody. Could, so if you were going to get paid 6 million, could you just pay me 5,990,000? Yeah. I just feel more comfortable, I think, with it's that like the, number it's, on it's the It's like chat. the 13th floor of a hotel. Yeah, yeah. you just stop using it at all. Just eliminate it. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I, 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 it's fine. As a consumer, you have the right to say, I enjoy Liam Neeson fighting wolves. I do not enjoy Liam Neeson's opinion about breast cancer. I, you, you, you can you what, have what, a right to Dan, buy Dan, anything you want. Can, can but you, you don't can, have can, a right to tell them to shut up about that. Well, opinion. you do have a right to tell them to shut up. But what I, do, but, 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 right, what, what, but what I am saying is our instinct to do so collectively right. is uh, I'm telling you, like, when you do that, you're. You, whose side are you on? You are on the side of all. Like, like I just keep saying, it's like when you, when you, when you, when you tell someone to shut up, when you tell someone that they should be less ambitious, when you tell someone that they should be less ignorant, like, like ignorance, a hugely important thing in in all life. It it is the thing that happens before knowing things. Yeah, <laughs> it's different from intolerance. Ignorance. When you meet someone who just doesn't know something yet, um, so the way you're going to find out that they don't know it yet is by through their big fucking flappy mouth. Um, when we discourage that, that's what, which is what kittens are doing when they're attacking a paper ball on the floor, <laughs> you don't tell the kitten, that's not a dog, knock it off! <laughs> you can't eat that. Get in your kitten hole. <laughs> Be a more efficient kitten. <laughs> we love experimentation and play. We, it is vital to us as a species. Um, when we discourage it, we are. Can we not just realize that you if, you? if you look to, if you, if you, when you're saying something to someone, if it's not something that Snickers would disagree with, big, big Snickers. Big Snickers. So, like, 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 you can still say it because maybe Snickers isn't wrong about everything. But are you a hero? What do you think Liam Neeson's stance on breast cancer is, Dan? <laughs> Controversially enough, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It does, Liam. No, he, I know he has Liam. a horrible, controversial PSA. It doesn't matter if you have breast cancer. It doesn't matter if it's the number one killer of women. Wolves matter. <laughs> he's, he's going somewhere as a conceit with that. Though. He doesn't just stop there. Like, it doesn't matter. Cancerous and breasts that's... don't have cubs. They can't kill you with their teeth. Do you, do you think that Liam Neeson was into wolves before that movie? Or, 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 or the movie was made around him? I think he called them. I think he saw it was being <laughs> England. It's like, like, I think I think it was starring like Tom Green or something. <laughs> it was going to go a whole different way with so, wacky wolves. Judging from punches. how that movie goes, I think it was a comedy. <laughs> it was like Rob Schneider can't get a break. <laughs> when Rob Schneider beats these four wolves, things got a little. I think the wolves probably talked in a lot of the scenes. <laughs> like, hey, Rob, you know we're going to kill you in Act 2. No. You know. And then it's like, uh, I have Liam Neeson on line one. What? <laughs> I'm very passionate about the movie you're making. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf movie? <laughs> the Rob Schneider movie? I spent yeah. time with my daughter at the <laughs> botanical gardens. Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Go wait. on. Go on, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How did wolves tie into the botanical gardens? <laughs> the botanical gardens are the one type of garden wolves shouldn't be in. <laughs> exactly. And, and the last thing that would remind you of the snow. <laughs> I also like that the people making the movie are calling it that wolves movie. <laughs> so disappointing. Well, and got, that they're they, ready to drop Schneider and the comedic tone yeah. in a fucking one phone call. Like, they've got yeah, eight it, things on their plate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, all right, so Rob Schneider and... Uh, can Rob Schneider talk about his opinions? <laughs> sure, everybody can. Everybody can. I, 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 and I, everyone I, I can think, say... Yeah, and like, here, if we do a podcast and all we do is mouth off about our stupid opinions about everything. So like, we can't really say anything. But I think it is really dumb to expect uh, celebrities to have, to, like, for their opinions to weigh anything at all. Uh, once in a while, there, there will be a celebrity who is in, in, who's thoughtful and intelligent and will say something that actually means something. But who gives a fuck yeah. what Kevin Bacon thinks? Like, like, that, that shouldn't matter on the face of like on that face value. It's crazy. Yeah, Char I, absolutely. Like Charles Barkley said, 
something about how he was like, a, uh, uh, racial profiling isn't bad for cops. And it's like, who the fuck cares what Charles Barkley thinks about it? <laughs> well, also, this? you can't be profiled if you're more famous than the type that you look. Like, like, oh, is that? Oh, it's Charles Barkley. I know exactly who that is. Like, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like, have to deal with like it. Charles Barkley. Yeah, yeah there's like, no. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm a black man and everyone's nice to me. No, you're yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The first thought isn't black man. It's, oh, Charles Barkley, the yeah. famous NBA star. Yeah. I've seen him more than I've seen any black man here in, uh, <laughs> on TV. Yeah. You know. I, I, I met Charles Barkley in Portland after doing a show one time, and we were all going to get like, the, the bar closed down, and, we, and he just started telling me stories about being best friends with Michael Jordan, and it was like the coolest night. Yeah. He, he was just like, he's fucking hilarious. He's How did Jordan come off? He is off. hilarious. Jo- Jordan comes off like a, like a guy that, you know, like you know, n- nice guy, gambling problem. Yeah, you okay. know. And so it's just like, he's like, he's like Jeff. <laughs> he's like, he's like Wait, Jeff. you met? Michael Jordan? No, I met Charles Barkley who talked about oh. being best friends with Michael Jordan. Charles Barkley tells stories about being friends with Michael Jordan, which is which is the Michael Jordan story. Yeah. <laughs> Even he's name dropped. And so, so Yeah, exactly. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he could tell a story about just himself what? and it would be name dropped. <laughs> exactly. But the no ring club drops the ring club. I mean, like that's the uh, the only I wrong mean, crowd buddy. They don't know about rings. Oh, they don't they don't uh, but, but some basketball these, people. These, get, these five right, these five blonde women came in the bar and they were all local news anchors like they're all the women that worked on the local news channel in Portland apparently and he's like he's, he's, like, he's like Jeff um, like, apparently like, we were best friends now right? because I was sitting next to him and he's like, he's like, he's like we, we, we got to go to another bar after this I go there's a bar right on the corner that, that, that's, that's open a little after this he's like you realize you and I have to fuck some of these women <laughs> I'm like, and I was like, aren't you married? He's like, yeah. I'm Charles I, I, so, Barkley married. I, I, so, you know, like, like I'm, I'm tall. He's a little taller, and he's, and he's like, he's twice a my size. Little tall. He's a big, he's a big fucker. Like, he's, he's huge. Like, you, I, I could get inside him like a costume, like he's like a big like guy. a tauntaun. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I thought, had to cut open Charles Barkley I so thought, he could <laughs> crawl inside. Him. I thought Charles Barkley smelled bad <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> So, so I go, okay, there's this bar. So he invites these girls to this bar. I go, it's just like, like we can walk there. It's like two blocks away. He's like, Jeff, 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 we're not walking anywhere, baby. I got the van. And sure enough, a fucking A-team, a fucking mystery machine, fucking full-on. Windowless uh, white yes. van. <laughs> You're glamorizing John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Man, I, you, got no. the, I got the wagon, man. <laughs> Are you We're going to take these teenage boys home and show them the rope trick. <laughs> man, He's a I, welder. He I got the no, crawl no. space, man. We don't have to... <laughs> We don't have to deal with this. I got the crawl space, Jeff, baby. Jeff, you, love- you know you and I have to eat some of these children. <laughs> <laughs> I we are this. hip deep in human lampshade right now. <laughs> no, a fucking a full-on A-team black van yeah. that with a sliding door, like an old-school fucking like I was like Ford Econo line pulled up with like a. Uh, maybe I'm mythologizing. I think it had. Well, a part- I'd love to see like security footage of this, and it's not Charles Barkley. <laughs> He was, it's, it's just some dude. It's, it's, it's Jeff and a broom. Yeah. He was he was just Barkley profiling a broom. Yeah, exactly. He, exactly. He, he sounded just like him, you guys. Yeah. The five newscasters are just like three cats. He was Look, he he was certainly a large black man. He was a large black man. He, it might as well have been Charles Barkley. What is the team well, of the six blonde newscaster women? What, like what are, how do Maybe you just gave a random dude courage enough to fuck these women because he thought he was Charles Barkley for a second. Look, one thing's for certain, whether it was Charles Barkley or not, I got Charles Barkley laid that night because, because all, all he wanted was a wingman. He's like, so, so like, like you know, like Drew Carey's there. We're all hanging out. The only reason that he was Where there, did you go? Like Planet Hollywood in the, in the dream of the people who founded it? Like, like, where, like where, where was this place? Uh, yeah. there, there was a colorized John Wayne. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, ha, ha. Get on some of this pussy. <laughs> the Star Wars band with the big heads. Yeah, are bah, 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 yeah bah, bah, Gene, bah. Gene Kelly dances. We're gonna Kelly with a vacuum. We're gonna fuck some of these pilgrims. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Russell Brand, not there. He no. dropped off the face of the earth. There's no more. Uh... It was a gaucho grill in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> and that's the end. But so we get, so I, uh, I was like, we can, we can walk there. He's like, no, we're not walking anywhere, baby. I got the van. And he puts his arm around me in a, in a very, like, dominating fashion. Like, like headlocks me. He's like, he's like, you're rolling with me tonight, Jeff. <laughs> like training day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was. So we get to the bar. I go, uh, 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 Sir Charles, uh, what, can I get you a drink? He's like, uh, give me a, like a, a triple vodka cranberry, something awesome. Like, like he ordered a triple because he's huge. And uh, so I go to the bar. He goes and meets these girls and instantly leaves with them. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he, he, he goes up there. No, he, we're there for a minute. And then we're up there hanging out. And I go up to go to the bathroom. He's like, Jeff, baby, baby, you're not leaving, baby. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. I go, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Charles Barkley, I'll be right back. And then I came back, and when I came back, he was gone. He He's just took gone. all the girls and left. <laughs> well, the, the Charles Barkley pickup line book is like, hey, I'm Charles Barkley. Damn, that's the book. Like, once you say that, like... Well, he got me in a van. He didn't say shit. <laughs> like, 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 yeah. I do like the idea of him, like... <laughs> Think about going back to his race stuff, like thinking that his ex- like experiences, like he's, oh, things got much easier for black people as soon as I joined the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> <laughs> it became everything is equal a, now. That's his <laughs> advice to be able to just join the Suns and yeah. be a star Although for them. You, I don't know. You, you have to be Charles Barkley because he's he's kind of adorable and uh, he's funny. Um, Jason Kidd is seems like an asshole. He was in the Suns too. No one likes that guy. Uh, well, he also had some spousal abuse stuff. You know, he's got stuff. It's yeah. still sports talk, even if there's child abuse involved. <laughs> You're still talking about sports. Sorry. Deal breaker. Uh, all right. Uh, I want to I I go into our heartbreaker segment. Is that more Dickies? It's still Dickies. So it's just the same thing, uh, but we advance. Do, do, do you want different music? We have, we have, oh, no, that's good, that's good. We have to use up my music before the, the, we have to change everything. This is a heartbreaker that I want to do. Our old friend, our friend of the show, Seek Donnelly, who I tweeted. He was, he was here one night. He had a uh, massive eruption of uh, bullshit in his brain. When was this? I think that's the medical term. Uh, it, was, he didn't, it wasn't an aneurysm. We'll let, him, we'll let him describe it for a second. But actually, I think if I just peel through the explanation... Bog- Trotters. I, I, uh, he, he, and he, uh, like, he, he came back. Now I'm stuttering while I'm describing it. He came back into the green room and his, his stutter was like, like, because it had hit his verbal center. And I was, I thought about bringing him up that night, but I'm telling you, it was just like too. It was, like, it was too frustrating for him to talk. Uh, we've been tracking this guy's adventures since uh, since we met him, and uh, and then it was that night. And I tweeted like, "Oh my God, he's all this thing happened, and he's he's pretty fucked up." But he's he's here tonight, and he's 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 going to going to see his mom for Christmas. Uh, Seek, are you here? Uh, can you can you come up? <laughs> Seek Donnelly. <laughs> base with you and send you off for the holidays because so many people were so concerned about you when I tweeted that stuff because it was a uh, tragedy uh, but uh, you uh, talk now you sound better <laughs> thank you <laughs> I, I, I want to say thanks that everyone um, came I'm now nervous but everyone who wrote based off your tweet and, yeah. and said nice things to me I, I, I don't I didn't know I had such an impact on people. Uh, it was a it was an eye opener for me. I, I think I knew that when we talked about the Kickstarter and s- saw everyone fund it in a day, um, and that was the first time it really clicked with me. But then to see a lot of people respond um, on Reddit and 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 on your, on Twitter and write me personal messages, um, it just I I just want to say it, being a Harmenian has been like the best thing ever. And you guys are all really awesome people. I, uh, yeah. There's like a, there's a crazy thing that you said to me in the green room, because the first time we met you, the first conversation we had with you on stage, we talked about the tragedy, which I, th- I remember like Aaron was like crying because like, like she heard it for the first time on stage that you're when you had your fr- fr- to, to catch you up. Uh, Iron Man three, uh, the, the um, uh, seek, seek for, for whatever reason. He's a medical phenomenon, has had multiple aneurysms and has survived them, but has no guarantee that he won't continue to have them and has gone through uh, experimental treatment at the hands of these people and then there was an episode where Seek said to us that that he told these people who had been experimentally treating his aneurysms which had had some results but that ultimately there was a point where you said for better or for worse 
I am ending this chapter. I'm going forward into a world without this particular treatment where they put these coils in in in, in, in stuff like that. And then you and then you went off and we were like, okay, Godspeed. What's going to happen now? Because it, because as you said, like as you were off the treatment, like your memories were starting to happen and your visual centers were starting to light up. You th- this this tragedy that happened to you recently was actually one of these coils blew. No, yeah, no the the co- one of the coils which is rare that this would happen, slid out and p- punctured another piece of my brain. Um, and it, it was a Sunday night, and I, was, I remember waking up screaming and, uh, and w- was taken to the, e- to the ER, and they weren't my normal doctor. So they did a CT scan, a- MRI. They didn't find anything, but I kn- knew something was wrong, so I kept screaming about pain, and then I left for um, to go do a comic book signing in Arizona while in pain. The show must go on. But yeah, pretty much, because they kept telling me nothing was wrong. And sometimes I have things that are psychological. So I, I, I'll go, okay, maybe this is one of those things. I'm not in pain. And then I came back the next day from Arizona and c- couldn't talk, uh, almost at all. And then I felt trapped, because that happened to me when my the first aneurysm ruptured, and I've had nine since, and luckily none ruptured. Um, so, so the coil slid out of the ninth one, and it punctured a piece of my brain, and my brain, uh, my brain bled um, for five days uh, until I went back to the doctor on, and saw my doctor a second time, and they found the problem. But at that point, it was t- too late. The damage was done. The ble- bleeding stopped, but uh, on its own, l- luckily, because it wasn't a lot, but just enough to to, to, to um, build a, or I guess, break a levy or something. But the good the good news is uh, that like 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 I mean when you came up when you came into the green room that night to do an impression of it like like because it sounds like it's, it was like like you you were going. Like you couldn't, you yeah. couldn't say a single word without eight. And it, yeah, uh, and it was fr- stutters. Frustra- frustrating for me. It, was, it must be like trapped in a being trapped in a coffin. It was, it, yeah. It was, I mean, yeah. It was uh, to me. It was awful. I, I mean, and I met. I mean, I, I feel weird complaining about it because I, when I go to the hospital t- to deal with these things, I meet people who are way worse, and I'm part of aneurysm groups where people are way worse. Um, so I, I try to let that keep me grounded of how much I complain about it, you know? Um, but you look, I mean, listening to you is so much perspective. We take so much for granted. I was complaining about people telling me on Twitter to, like, stick to my jokes. And then, <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, though. That's all real. I was, I was like, was, this is the worst problem anyone's ever had. That and was me. You, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Amen. think I don't think that that's the key to life. I don't think that I don't think that the key to life is all of us figuring out how that that we should be using a metric by which every day we wake up in bed if we don't have every problem. No, and that I'm not saying has. that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is having perspective for me is it really helps. No, it's very and, and you get like you you see the big picture, and just because you know people are starving in Africa doesn't mean you can't get pissed about being stuck in a traffic jam. I'm not saying that, especially if a starving. African child cuts you off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which I forgot to talk about. That is number one on my list of shit. It's a yeah, fucking I'm like, why are you starving? Just sell the car. <laughs> it's a fucking Hummer. <laughs> but I think for, obviously, we all have problems, and relative to us, those are big problems, but to hear you talk about some of the issues you've had, and then to hear you say that you don't think those issues are as major as what someone else has. Like, that's very inspiring, and um, it's just good to have perspective. Yeah. There, there how, how, sorry, uh, Zeke, how, are your, your memories still the same? Are you, you, are, you, are you making memories again, or no? Oh, yeah, my, I mean, I'm going to see my mom, and this will, I haven't seen her in a c- couple of years. This is the good news that I um, wanted to talk about. Okay, go. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> I own this, I own this. <laughs> this is all from Dan. <laughs> Um, I, my, my mom, we kind of grew apart when I didn't have any memories of her. Uh, so she, she didn't know how to handle that. Like, wow. you know, um, I, and I don't blame her. And you literally had no, like, no old memories, no childhood memories, nothing? No, I mean, 
I, I don't, I didn't get visual, you know? So, so I, I could kind of know that she was my mom, but I, I felt it. But you don't conjure up any, any visual no, a, no. A, a attachments? But no. now I can. Really? And, and, and I, I mean, I know what NT looks like and Adam Goldberg looks like. <laughs> like hey, there's pros and cons to everything. <laughs> I only know what he sounds like. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I know you now. Oh, okay. All right. No, all right. Uh, yeah. Do this, too. So. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Goldberg had, like, an Achievement Unlocked thing show up. <laughs> Yes. He gets the green lightsaber. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Easy shot. Easy shot. Um, so, so my mom, my mom, she just, uh, she's ha- We, you know, I'm a big Superman fan, big Star Wars fan. Um, so my my mom is. Uh, she, we had this connection recently where she said, "Do, do you?" Rem-? I said, "Mom, I remember you and I used to." driver like whenever she had extra money on a we we grew up poor like we're we're both still poor my mom and I and she was like uh do you remember driving around looking for Star Wars figures like to different toy stores and you know trying to find like the 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 R2D2 that like was the rare figure in the set or the slave leia you know variant or whatever and and so we t- recently have been buying Star Wars figures together like me on the east uh, here west coast and her on the east coast and it kind of rebuilt this like connection with us and uh-huh. and so she'll send me pictures of the stuff she's buying which are waiting for me when I go home and I've been Instagramming them like look at the toy my mom found me and it kind of gave my Instagram a purpose besides like pictures of my dog so um, huh, so it's, huh. it's uh, so it's been it's been kind of nice and so now we I have almost every memory of her I think and it's uh, so it's been coming back to you you said like you you're you're and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing I don't know if this should be celebrated like Reese Witherspoon seeing things in color in Pleasantville <laughs> the the you you are in a sleepless state you can't sleep right now your brain yeah. is exploding with uh, yeah, that's can't. bad uh, idi- idiom your your mind is exploding with yeah. uh, with uh, with you you don't you can't tell the difference between dreams and memories right now. Yeah, because it's so overwhelming. Like I, like my neighbor who like uh, is a really good friend of mine, and she, uh, I can now close my eyes and I know, and I can see what she looks like. Like she's not even in the room. Whereas before, and, someone had to describe an apple, and you would like, and we can't even comprehend yeah. it because we're we're trying to figure out what that even meant before. Where you were like learning to draw because you were an artist, lost right. your visual memory, and you had to like you couldn't see that. Now you can't not see things. Now you close your eyes, you see. And, and it's uh, it's pretty horrifying <laughs> uh, because because I've been the- remembering things that aren't good things either. You know, like I I I'm. I mean, I never thought I, I don't know, I, I never thought I was a good person. Like, I grew up pretty broken, abusive dad, you know, like a poor, uh, ran away from home, uh, got into drugs. I was a narc. Like, I mean, I, I've done, like, really crazy things. Wow. And uh, <laughs> You were a narc? <laughs> yeah. In Atlanta. Uh, this is turning into memento. <laughs> Oh, like, the like one going to come your visual memory back. the money. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> it's buried in Central Park. <laughs> oh wait, I was undercover. <laughs> That's who that guy is. Oh my god, he's been following me for a year. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I, but I remember when you when you forget your life, it's easy to reset and be a good person because I feel like deep down we all want to be good people. And so it was easy for me. But now it's a, I, I am like, I, people don't, you know, like I don't go out as much anymore. I stay recluse in my apartment because I'm afraid because I start remembering all these things that I'm like, well, will that guy ever come back? You know, or now that he, now that I know, or am I smart enough now? I've done enough good now I've given more than I've taken like did I am I okay am I in the clear you know so I I, so I've been struggling a lot lately and it's brought me in and out of depression and brought me you know a lot of places emotionally I couldn't go before because I had emotional problems so now like as far as you know knowing when to be sad and when the right time to be sad I had issues with that now I know when to cry I know when to be upset 
and so to know that and to know like the good and bad things you've done in your life uh and to know that there are people out there that have kept like those things like private you know like i i just i it's like a lot to digest so um do you think that people should always be transparent about every scrap of darkness inside of them or do you think it's important for us to hold on to the things protect them guard them have shameful things that we i i mean i don't i don't know it's that's a good question i think it's it, Thank it, you. it's case by case I, I think i think like for me i i probably won't share some of those things but i will um, try to make amends with someone who I think I've wronged uh, on a personal level and secretly with them and just hope that's enough. Um, and, and I will, um, you know, I mean, yeah, it, it's, I think it's just case by case. Me, I, I've lived these past five years, you know, I'll be, um, in, I'll be 33 in May next year. So it'll be my, essentially my fifth birthday, um, and, uh, and of this new life. And I, I want to keep going with this new life. I, I want to look at the mistakes I've made, and I think that's everyone, uh, everyone who's made a mistake. They can just, you look at it, you dissect it. Every morning you wake up, you have yeah. like this new chance. It's kind of like, a, like, not to crassly like force that weld to uh, all this stuff that we were talking about with the online culture, but it's like you do have an opportunity every morning you wake up to kind of change. You, you could just go, you know what? I may, I may not be reacting with sure. like, regular shit i thought i thought my what i thought was my neutral gear actually is like a weird gear that that was like handed to me by somebody above me um or my past and actually there is a true neutral and you can just achieve it I, I, that that's a i don't i well i'm not a doctor but i doubt that you'll be overtaken in your wildest dreams it would happen i i, I think we would love to have evil seek back <laughs> Uh, you come come back and tell us how women shouldn't vote. And... <laughs> I, re I remember now. I, Superman, no. Oh, this is for faggots. Yeah, you I, I, think, I think we would. The, 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 the crazy thing is, though, is seriously, like that would be a huge lesson too, because we could, we could. I think, I think all of the women and faggots in this audience could like watch you bound out like the Hulk and go, "I love that guy." <laughs> I'm glad he's back. I'm glad he didn't. I, 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 I think it's such a cool opportunity in a way. I mean, I mean, obviously, you want to be able to have all your memories back, but to to be able to say to yourself, like, I don't like, I, I, I get to choose right now whether I am a good person or I, or do I dwell on the bad things that I did. And that's we should all wake up tomorrow morning and say fuck all the bad shit I did. Let's just start being good from here forward. Yeah. And like and, and absolutely just hit control alternate delete and reset everything. Yeah. And, just, and, and walk forward and, and don't feel ashamed of all the, the the things that you've done. I mean, certainly you want to go back and make amends for wrongs you've done people. Sure. But I think you'd find that that's probably a very small part of you. Like. Well, and and you also find that people are forgiving. Um, I learned that. You know, pretty recently, and I think um, I think I, I wake up every morning with the question of, like, like what, like, because I, like I said, I'm part of aneurysm groups. I meet other people. I go to hospitals, and and uh, and and was at one point part of a like a monthly group that we met, and I see that I'm I'm doing much better than a lot of people, and other people are doing better than me too. But um, so I wake up every day going, what what can I do that they can't that but should be done. You know, like what can I do for them to help spread a message or help, you know, do something good, uh, light a fire under somebody who needs inspiration? You know, like wh how can I give? Um, and I think if we wake up every day with that, I think, I mean, I, I think then we will stop giving a shit about people like what does, you know, Kevin Costner think about this or, you know, who cares what Christian Bale is, thinks about the new Batman? Like, who gives a shit? That's not news. Like, there's a new Batman. whoop de doo There's a new Batman every five years. Like, I'll be Batman in five years. Who gives a shit? But also, the fact that you, you just spoke for a couple of minutes without stuttering a single time in a while, yeah. and, and just recently you couldn't talk. It's amazing. And you, that's you, the miracle of our podcast. <laughs> And you at home, if you're watching, we need your money. Unless you want Seek and other people to continue to suffer, sign the back of your social security check and mail it into Harmontown. I have a question. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, please. I was going to ask you how... Uh, 
I don't know how brains work. How is <laughs> Me your how how are your memories coming back? It's interesting that it was in there. It wasn't that it was gone. It just you couldn't access it. Do you know how it's all coming well, back? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's stuff heals over time, especially the mind. Uh, and so sometimes it's it's uh, it's not like one set spot where everything is in your brain. It's different right. for everyone. So it's I, I, that's why I think like I don't know. I, I admit this. Is, I don't want to get too out there with this, but I I I look at a very good blend of the supernatural and the scientific, you know, like I, I feel like I'm surrounded by that a lot because I feel like I've dodged more bullets than I, I would have, if I was a God in charge, I would have given me. To dodge. <laughs> so just, just to be clear, would you mean like when the tissue is damaged, yeah. the memories that that tissue was responsible for go offline, but when the tissue heals, then those memories like reappear in the hard drive? No, not in every case. Okay. But, but in some cases, mine, it seems where it was damaged, it was just the link going to memories okay. was the damage part. So now when things kind of rewire and rewire around the damage, things start coming together. So, so, it. So memory rank four is on. That a memory like, is, is, is it's not a real thing. It's, 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 these ideas are just are stored somewhere in this lump of toothpaste we have in our head. That's some of the, the – I mean, I'm not allowed to talk about most of it, but some of the research stuff I've been part of is uh, is that kind of stuff. It's asking Wait. big <laughs> yeah, okay, Is yeah. it spoilers? Is, is Will Smith are? doing the research? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, hey, spoilers. <laughs> this, this research doesn't come out for another four years. They're giving him scanners powers, man. You can't talk about that if shit. anyone's allowed to talk about anything. I, uh, yeah, I, oh, fuck I mean, them. I, I sign, like, you know, a lot of documents. So. But you can just say you didn't remember that, and they'll, they'll have to buy it. They're gonna sue you. You have the best. Oh yeah, you can be like that was anything. that was evil seek sign that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are. I. 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 Uh, I want to. I want to. I want to get my wife and my dungeon master out here pretty quickly. But seek what? Uh, what uh, is there anything else you want to say before you go out for the holidays? Yeah. I. I mean. I. I know my boss would love me to plug something, but instead, I'd rather everyone here just. Do something nice for somebody for the holidays. Uh, give to Feral Audio if you can donate. Uh, give to Brain Aneurysm Foundation or the Joe Necro Foundation. No, give it to the Brain Aneurysm. We're okay at Feral. Like, like thank you, but yeah, we're fine. Give there. it to something that like really needs it. <laughs> like, just do, but just do something selfless. That's that's all I ask. Dustin's giving you the finger right now. Joe. Well, uh, people have brain problems, Dustin. So uh, <laughs> I'm you joking. Can, he you wasn't can, doing uh, that. I'm sure he agrees with you. Now he is. I'm, I'm sure he agrees with you. <laughs> well, the thank. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you, Steve Donnelly. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Tell your mom we said hi. Uh, let's bring out Aaron McGaffey and Spencer Crittenden. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jeff, your hair smells fabulous. You, you smell like a million bucks. Thank uh, you, you. You smell delicious. I, uh, Wait, the, are you guys sniffing each other? We, <laughs> you lousy bog trotter. She's a sniffer. Uh, on the subject of bog trotters, a bog trotter is an antiquated uh, term. Uh, derogatory term for Irish people. Irish <laughs> Well, as a man of Irish descent, we do sniff a lot of so shit. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Ireland, send your uh, comments to uh, Ultraberg on Reddit. <laughs> Uh, it's it's time to it's time for the segment. Is he high or angry? <laughs> wait, what segment? I was uh, waiting for the theme song. Hi, hi. Are you are you are you high or mad? I'm both. Let me tell you guys something. Then that shit weed. <laughs> when he's both, that's fucking podcast gold. Let's. Just... <laughs> All right. No, I'm kidding. I'm just, this is all, I, I'm just putting it on um, for the audience. Um, it's not marijuana. It's not. But, you know, Target, I'm Wait, pretty sure. You, is it a gateway? Have what? You, are you Cobaining? Is there a gateway? There is a gateway. Have you gone through it? No. What? Just trying to, you know, Russell Brand, he's not off the map. <laughs> He hasn't fallen off the map all right. at all. He's become a lot, a lot, uh, oh, very politicized, and he he has his own YouTube TV show where he, it's like uh, the O'Reilly Factor, but with Russell Brand. 
No. He that calls sounds it, like he, falling off the map. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey man, weird doesn't pilot. Charlie Sheen have that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tom Green has that. You he's mean, he's you making the real YouTube is not a good. Uh, <laughs> isn't there a Nambla channel on YouTube? <laughs> Can't you? Yeah, I mean, we're Nambla's on YouTube. making a huge comeback. I resent that very much. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you mad about? Nambla. He just hit a thousand Wait, subscribers yeah. on his channel. Wait till the Namblates hear about this. <laughs> the Namblates? Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and the Namblates. All right, sorry, we're derailing you. What do you? What do you? What's, what's on your mind, Spencer? Like, like, Nothing's on my mind. Just you guys are hating on Russell Brand just because he's trying to make a political difference. You no, know? I, I said he was sexy and didn't button his shirt. I, I didn't say. Anything. I said the movie was good. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> said nothing bad about him either. He's not falling off. He's not falling off. Russell, I know, I know. <laughs> Me and Russ, Rusty. Well, say, saying he's falling out, I was on his side. I call him Rusty. I, <laughs> Rusty. I was, Rusty Rockets. I was suspicious that he was being targeted and punished by Lena the, Dunham. <laughs> You know, you're her just, dog, you don't listen in the back yeah, of you. You're just repeating words you've heard tonight. Lena Dunham's dog bites people. He's it's getting not his, okay. Not it's not okay. He's getting his memories back one at a time, but just from 20 minutes ago. So it's not. Well, I'm. Yeah. I have to catch up. Russell Brand, tar Target. Uh, you know those aisles, those those shelves. Spencer, pretty, Spencer. In California, they bolt them down because of earthquakes. And this guy can kill your character at any time. Yeah. What character? He's he's. <laughs> We're already dead. <laughs> uh, they yeah. bolt them down because of earthquakes. How do you yeah. know that? Well, I mean, they bolted the ones at borders down, and those are the same uh, concept. You know, shelves with product on them. <laughs> that, <laughs> did you is, work? It's a building code thing. Did you work at borders? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew all about. Um, yeah, you know, bookshelves are just borders. You've got a real... With books on them. You've got a real Andy Rooney Spencer, vibe. Do you, do you, I don't know. Who's Andy Rooney? I, 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 who's Andy Rooney? <laughs> who's this Andy Rooney I keep hearing about? Is that... Seems like every time I turn on a podcast that has someone over 30 on it, they're referencing Andy Rooney. Is that a Gene I take Shallot? exception at a reference I don't understand. I'd like people to reference things I do understand. What's with soap? How small does it have to get? <laughs> Andy Rooney was a guy on 60 Minutes okay. who would basically do one of the most brilliant pieces I ever saw when Spy Magazine existed is they created a column that was a uh, on one side it was Andy Rooney comments and on the other side it was Jerry Seinfeld bits <laughs> and it, you had to figure out who was who and it was it was yeah. tough yeah, it's tough well Rooney just would do the premises but then there wouldn't be any jokes after that it would just be like what's the deal and then, then he would just keep saying that in different ways you'd be ways. surprised though at did how, he get some good lines no, no, I'm saying you'd be, you'd be surprised at how little bit you let Jerry Seinfeld get away with. I think the point of that column, the point of that column wasn't look how funny Andy Rooney is. <laughs> or, or, or Jerry it's Seinfeld. It's not like Andy, it's not like after Seinfeld asks the question, "Where's the sock in the dryer?" He lands the fucking. Like, he, he doesn't like like put on a Darth Vader mask and do a thing where I found the sock. He asks the question, and that's what Andy Rooney does. Who, where'd the sock go? Where's it go? Who? Wears sweaters. <laughs> the end. Uh, did you guys know that you can measure the passage of time by how many of Dan's buttons are unbuttoned? <laughs> oh, you're you're Russell Branding. You're Russell right Branding. Now. You're Branding, bro. You're Branding. You're fucking Branding, I'm, bro. I'm splitting like a <laughs> you're three down to Russell. Like three is. I'm the like last. a tamale. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dan, yeah. Dan, did you unbutton those, or did you, is your navel prehensile? Like, like how, how did that happen? I mean, I assume that they were kind of. I, don't know, I assume my, that I'm fat. No, but that's, that's not how buttons work. If they, they will pop off before they'll just unbutton themselves. I think if, I think they will before they before they pop off. They'll they'll unbutton. You think so? Yeah, that's the I think. All right, okay. restart Tonight the clock. Tonight on Mythbusters. <laughs> Try. What yeah, yeah, buttons yeah. really do? Get them open again. Try your hardest. <laughs> do it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> By the way, that is doing things I didn't think it could do. <laughs> that. Oh my god. Holy shit. I want to open it and there's another like Dan face on it. <laughs> 
commercial for subscribing to the video feed. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, if you're li- if you're listening right now, yeah. you're listening later than this is happening, and you didn't get to see what I just did. Uh, let's play some. Uh, I- I've been away for a very long time. Can we play a little D and D, please? Uh, I don't know. I- apparently, I-, I found out terrible things happened to my character. So uh, yeah, so many. What are we doing? D and D, Spencer. It, uh, Hold on. It- it's-, it's a game where uh, you uh, roll <laughs> dice and uh, we we portray characters. Oh great! Can you teach us all how to play? Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck, uh, Spencer. Hey. <laughs> It's fucking wow. We, yeah, this you missed a lot, Jeff. You missed a lot. Don't be angry with me, man. I grew three more testicles. <laughs> for a total um, of nine. <laughs> <laughs> while, while Spencer's setting up, can I briefly also say something about Target? Yeah. Yes. yes. I, uh, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if you would have said no. You, you may but. speak, woman. <laughs> Tell us about Thank Lena you. Dunham. Well, one day I took my vagina into Target. Uh, I, a couple years ago, I was at the Target on Sunset in Hollywood, and uh, I was walking around, and I was wearing a red shirt. And I don't know if this is still the policy, but I think the employees can just wear any old red shirt. As long as it doesn't have anything Scooter, on it. is that correct? Store to store. Store to store. Store to store. Oh, cool. Store to store. Interesting. <laughs> so you're saying at a pee fresh you can Hey, uh, huh? this really is the best company ever. <laughs> you mean I could wear a red shirt of any kind, no matter where I go? <laughs> So I was I was walking around I was in the automotive section and I was like in a hurry trying to find something and this guy walked up to me and he's like hey 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 uh, can you tell me where the uh, blah 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 is and I said oh I'm so sorry I don't work here and he's like uh, okay can you tell me where the blah 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 is <laughs> and I was asking I, and it was so it, it was bewildering and I found I like walked with him and found it with him. <laughs> And the entire time I was waiting for him to say something, but I, I, I and he knew I was, he knew I didn't work there. Like I, I was sure to leave and say, like I'm gonna go continue my shopping. <laughs> that is really weird. Yeah. That guy was that unwilling to say in the moment. Oh, was that sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like if you him. ask, if you, you know, if you ask someone individually for help, they'll, they'll do it. Like, like some, you know, if you're, if you're in need, which is so strange in a store where there are people that are paid to do that exact thing. Do you think it's a guy just maybe flirting with you, possibly? Like, he was like, I, I, feel I, like I, I, I don't want this transaction to be over. I don't think you flirt by going, uh, okay, so you can do it anyway. Like, I don't think that's... Uh, <laughs> like, you, maybe yeah. Charles Barkley could get away with that, but I don't think... No, no, Charles, you, you haven't read the game? That's what uh, turns a woman on like a light. Uh, oh, yeah. he, she, he was negging yeah, her. It was, it, was a, it was a long neg. You're not that, You're still not helping me. Yeah. <laughs> Spencer, why are you so mad right now, I man? I, like, I, I, I hate to see you like this. I just, you know, you guys are talking a lot of shit about Target. They, uh, <laughs> they make a fine, a fine product. Spencer, do you get high before the show or during the show? Like no. when, you, when you're backstage, are you getting high while we're that, out here? That would be illegal. <laughs> All permutations you'd suggest it just right. then. I think, no, we you, ha- no, I, think, I think we have our answer. You have a prescription. You can get high anywhere you want. What? You have a prescription, don't you? No, that stuff's illegal, man. The feds... I'm uh, not doing it. Federally, okay. <laughs> I have a prescription. Come get me. No, you don't. <laughs> hey, f- he doesn't. If, find, in find case you you're it wondering. Expi- it expired two years yeah. ago. <laughs> I'm so lazy that the feds would find nothing. Uh, Are you high on your picture on your card? Because I've seen it before and you look no, super no, high. I'm just that happy to be getting a pot card. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, I'm Every so pot proud. card picture is like, yeah. I don't. I don't think I have it in my uh, in my wallet, but I'm so proud of it because I look. I've always said like I, when I looked at the photo, I was like, "This is a, this is like a, a, a billboard for a Jason Sudeikis movie about getting a pot card." I was like, pot like, card with like, Jason Sudeikis, but it's got like prescription, and it's like because I, like I'm in the photo, I'm like. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't get a card. I just got a sheet that said with the doctor and everything. Like I didn't yeah. pay extra for the card, which I was happy to do. <laughs> I have never in my life. I, there's so many memories I have. You know, one is of Seek's mother, and uh, I also like I like. Wait, was that the most like highbrow yo mama? I fucked your mama. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's like, <laughs> one is a I, fixed I have a mother. Of your mother. With a multiple aneurysm survivor, you don't have to fuck him. You can just say, I remember your mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. too, too, too soon? <laughs> Uh, so good. The, uh, uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> damn it, you guys. Um, walking to my car after, <laughs> like, 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 by, with a bag, a, a, a pharmacy bag with marijuana in it with a receipt stapled to it that said Visa. With a, like, I bought it with a credit card. <laughs> Pot. Because I'm sick and I need medicine. <laughs> And capitalism oh, well, and you know, democracy. What, what, is your main, what is your main ailment, Dan, that, 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 that you necessitates the pot? I think they led me into nausea. Yeah. No, I don't oh, know. Oh, they, do they, like, lead you? They, I like, have, walk you down I, the path? They're, I, like... There's three doorways that you have to step through. I have each with a unique answer challenge. the pot riddle, or the pot will yeah. not be granted. I think, I think ultimately it came down to Spencer. Can, can you give me pot pot dungeon master? Uh, wait, what? Pot pot dungeon master. I. What are you? I'm not sure if I'm I, doing it or if I, I, I just don't, don't get what your premise is. Spencer, how high are you? I don't. Uh, you they, you they, just they, said pot dungeon master. Yeah, like yeah, that means I, anything. I, 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 I'm walking into a pot store and, and you're describing me walking into the dispensary. Oh. Okay. You're walking into a pot store. There's magazines. You got to sign in. <laughs> Spencer, things have changed since I saw you last night. Yeah, man. It's these testicles. Speaking of prescriptions, you know, maybe Dan doesn't want to talk to, about this, but he got a prescription. <laughs> yeah, I know. I turn. I had a huge. I have a a, a giggling deficiency. <laughs> Is what it came down to. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, Video you got a, You cool recently, enough? Dan recently got a prescription. I guess you don't want. to... Sorry. You know. Oh, you mean my? Yeah, no, I don't think I want to. Yeah, it's okay, perfectly all right. legal. Wait, wait. I, 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 I was recently diagnosed with uh, uh, ADD. You have ADD. We've known this. <laughs> wait, is that is it, you? You, you, you got it? diagnosed with ADD. Was it you in a waiting room with like all eight year olds? <laughs> yeah. And you? Did you like fidget during a test, or like how did they know? <laughs> it, uh, it, 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 it took surprisingly a uh, little time to get diagnosed. I. Feel like I had to answer three questions. Is, is uh, this about scoring Adderall? Is that, is that the point? I was, uh, let's just say I went to Yelp's top psychiatrist. <laughs> Uh, so that season six could get done. It was harder for me to get a pot license. This is news to your wife. <laughs> What's that? So this is news. Yes. It's a medicine. Well, Wait, you haven't shared this with your with your with your betrothed with your beloved. We're past it. I'm a little what? I'm a little ashamed of it and just wanted it to. Go you like need it's a medicine. People <laughs> do this all the time, and it's it's signed off on by doctors everywhere and politicians. Everyone loves it. It's you know overdoses are one of the leading causes of preventable death in America, and everyone's just smiling about it. I don't. There's nothing to be ashamed of except America. <laughs> <laughs> It is. Uh, I, I, I think we have the title of our episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went in and I. Uh, yeah, I'm I, sorry, uh, Dan. I, didn't, I, I thought this is just, you know, yeah. No, it's it's it's. Cool. It's, is Dan dating anyone or? Is there... Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Dan He's got a role for that. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I no. was I was gonna tell you That's eventually. Fine. Yeah. I didn't think. What do you mean? Yeah, sarcastic. No, no. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't no, 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 now I feel weird. No, it's fine, it's fine. Are you upset that he's been, like, not sharing the drugs? <laughs> I, I, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. No, 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 I'm not upset you're not sharing it. It's, it seems like a secret the way it came out, but it's fine. It, uh, you know, well, I, I'm cool. I also, I'm here's government. some other things. I've been getting a lot of CAT scans about the things wrong with my chest, my enlarged lymph nodes and my sarcoidosis. Yeah, and, and then you get a, it's fine. It's I don't, fine. I don't, he I goes don't. to the doctor. I just I want you to be safe. I just want you to be safe. I'm not sharing. Dan hasn't been sleeping a lot lately because he's working on he's community. Just, he's just filled with Adderall. You can't sleep on that shit. <laughs> well, he has to stay up because he's working late and I'm a little concerned about his health. How much do you sleep a night, Dan? Three. <laughs> Hours? On a scale of one to ten. I don't Three. know. <laughs> Three balls. <laughs> I'm doing fine. By the way, I found out he's fine. What this isn't. <laughs> oh, oh, it went gone. away. It's gone. You're healed. You're cured. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so that that it turns out is uh, tracheal stenosis, which I think is just a hardening of the cartilage in the trachea. There's uh, enlarged lymph nodes in my trachea that I have to get biopsied because they have to rule out sarcoidosis, which is only fatal five percent of the time. All right, now you're all caught up. <laughs> the the yeah, they have to like they gotta put a thing down my throat and grab some cells and then diagnose or not diagnose sarcoidosis. If they diagnose it, then it's a it's a simple like it's ninety five percent chance I'll live. Yeah, according in dungeon master terms, like you roll two dice and then yeah, that's like goes. five rolls. Yeah, Spencer, r- r- roll roll Dan's. Uh, I would have to get a critical hit by God to die. No, we're good. We're good. Wait. <laughs> Maybe. God autocrits. God will one shot you. He autocrits. There's no. You don't have to wait for the 20 if you're God. <laughs> they have to really have to get, because I have, I think. God it, doesn't play dice, man. Uh, I have. I, <laughs> I have, I have enlar- large lymph nodes, which are battling something that they have to find out what they're battling. You know, well, you know what they say? Uh, 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 you have a five percent chance of surviving, <laughs> <laughs> of of dying. Sorry, but also in the meantime, I did pop by a doctor who I did tell I have trouble reading books. You do, and uh, I see him at work. <laughs> That's just because you're lazy. Did you go you? to the doctor with him? Were you like his like hype man? Yes, he did. Yeah, <laughs> he's my chauffeur. I don't have a. Are car. you for or job? against it? I can't tell. I'm for it. I think that he needs it more than a lot of people I've seen get Adderall and give it to me. Before. So what's the? So you're sh- saying that people. <laughs> Not for Di- not for Dan for my personal use in the past. Sorry, but, uh, if I wasn't clear. Didn't you just say that that it that it causes death that people are ODing on it? And An oh American no, shame. Prescription drugs kill yeah, more people America than any other a- drug, any illegal drug. Right. All of it, and it's everyone's fine with it. Everyone's fine with uh, people prescribing drugs all the time. Wait, so you, so you, so you're being sarcastic when you say it's good that he's doing this? Or no, I'm saying he <laughs> needs it more than other people that are using it, you know, to kill themselves, and he's using it responsibly. So okay. Because he's making something while here. he's killing himself. No, because a lot of people who uh, have focus problems and do work, you know, creative work, work that requires a lot of hours, uh, who have serious ADD, oftentimes take medicine to treat that ADD. I don't. Why is this so controversial? I don't I'm get it. I'm with you, Spencer. I understand. You're saying in this case these drugs are good overall. Pharmaceuticals. Big overprescribed problem in America. Yeah, and it's a problem that a lot of people actually hurt themselves with, whereas Dan feels guilty about this responsible usage. Because I'm taking advantage of a of drug system. dealing nation <laughs> because I actually need the drug. Uh, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I agree with you, totally. but everyone would agree that one hour a night of sleep, no hours, three hours sometimes is really unhealthy. That's yes. not, yeah, the, well, that's not, that, that, that is the case in like spurts, with or without Adderall. Uh, the, that's the that's that's a fact. Like that that just happens. That's workaholism. That's something that there is no drug for, uh, except except therapy. money. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, feel, I mean, you know, I didn't want I, I want to I wanted to bring it up on my own time. I was excited about it because also I don't want to be like a I don't want to be like a whistleblower because it, it was kind of fascinating. Like going, I got a prescription for Adderall and it took about 20 minutes <laughs> and I answered three questions. And then the doctor said, you definitely have ADD, which I, I don't think doctors are supposed to say about anything ever. <laughs> Wait, what, what? What? What are the questions they ask you? What's this like? I'm genuinely curious. Now I feel like I feel like I'm kind of like. If you don't the, want to talk the, about it, that's fine. They give you like a little cat laser and like like around the room. <laughs> right, here you and go. if you look at it once, then you get the prescription. They were questions that I answered honestly. I don't think that they're the questions you need to triangulate ADD as a diagnosis. I don't think you know. What do you think about Russell Brand? Right? <laughs> what do you think about Lena Dunham? Okay, good. Yeah, now here you go. <laughs> I described my situation and why I was there. I said honestly, like, and I felt like, like, like honestly, it for you know, people had given me Adderall in the past, and I had taken it and it had a speedy effect and kept me up. 
uh, and that recently, like, and it actually had like more of a focusing effect. Like, I'm actually able to get work done instead of like not wanting to get work done, and that I'm actually also nicer to Aaron. Uh, uh, like, I I, fi- I find myself coming like like kind of like 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 if I if I take ten milligrams, I will actually like kind of I don't know. Like, I'm a little more respectful to her, um, which I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm embarrassed about it because it's a pharmaceutical. I, I, I'm genuinely embarrassed People about it. People take drugs and it helps them. I, yeah. don't, I honestly don't think it's anything to I know, be but I don't of. think that this guy is, like, qualified to say. No, I, but you well, are. That's, that's not like, your responsibility. It seems like, you, like you've used this drug before and it helped you and it had a good effect. <laughs> People are depressed and they take drugs and then it makes them better. I don't think there's anything wrong with I that. Don't it's want to prescribe, th- but in a lot of cases. It's I don't want to think that my personality is based on but it's not I don't like that idea it's not like these drugs you're taking are is changing it better your personality than that, is it better than that dirty street Adderall you were getting but until now it's all the same I mean I do it's just making your brain better at underst- at, at this being better, this better be a fucking good uh, season of community man <laughs> it's gonna be great <laughs> It it, it it fucking hurts. It's like scraping metal against concrete. And I, I but Aaron said that I, I guess I always say that. Yes. I feel really bummed about that one time you texted me. I was really really upset about that. Wait, not, not when you texted me. I don't know if you should talk about this. Wait, what did I? No no no. You texted me about community. What did about, I say? What did um, I say? Well, I don't know if we're just saying. Say it. It. You it's were like, hey, do you want to come and do something on oh. it? Oh, and then I couldn't do it, and I was really bummed out that I couldn't do it. Oh yeah, yeah. Second so. choice, you texted me after Kumail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. is he gonna be on Community? No, none that's of the <laughs> other Adam Goldberg. He, uh, oh, my, my my rule with him is I said you have to land one bit from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he keeps trying. Yes. <laughs> So that's just a grasshopper for my can, hands. If you can hook one like, yeah. ring around yeah, the pole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah, a bunch of monkeys just wrote a Shakespeare play before you landed the line. I have zero for 116. 116, hey, actually. Yeah, 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 that. You, know, you know what bums me out? Is that we got, I'm, I'm back, we got the whole fucking cast here, and uh, we're, we're over time. We can't play D&D now. It's, 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 I know, we, st- we started so late, though, technically. Well, I mean, even starting that late, we're still pretty much. I mean, no, yeah, we I could. Wanna. Why don't we just. Exp- no, that's dumb. No, no, no. Do it. I was going to say, at? why don't we just explain to Jeff we, what oh, happened? Yeah. Yeah. Fill, fill, fill me in what I've missed, and we'll be ready to go for next time. I mean, that's. Yeah. I, 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 have a, I would like to hear. I, have I also a, haven't been around. So I have a I pitch. Wanna hear, yes. Uh, I want to use my power to make the audience applaud at something so that Spencer is compelled to it. I, <laughs> I think what would be amazing if, is if Spencer uh, spent, did whatever he did, wanted to do tonight, but then the next time we see him in the new year, he has learned and is ready to start a shadow run campaign. What is that? <laughs> you see, oh. it, didn't, it didn't pull. Okay. It didn't have no, pull. A, You're hearing part. mostly Adam Goldberg. It's a cyberpunk a... thing from the, the 80s? Is that something? what? Hey, that... it was from the 80s, but now it's from It's like 14. a William Gibson, <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a Sega Genesis <laughs> game. That it's I like Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but there's elves and dwarves and shit, too, it's right? Set, uh-huh. It's set in a world where magic has returned to an apocalyptically techno world. It was called world. like the NGE. There was like an acronym for it. It was like the Big Awakening. But like it, I remember it's it. a role-playing game like D&D? Yeah. yeah. It's like D&D, but with guns and lasers and racism. Well, I guess it's like... <laughs> It's like D and D. Sold. All, sold. <laughs> all the. Uh, all the <laughs> Do you have that as a stat, like racism fifteen, or like, <laughs> like you got to roll for your racism? Oh fuck, I'm a bitch. Can we do it again? <laughs> I, I'm plus fifteen versus Asians. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess different races. You're more powerful. I'm sorry. Uh. Does that mean, like, what are you trying to pull off when you need a higher racism yeah. score? Like, Do you need well, to say something? Like a, a racist country or something, maybe they would, like, think, give you more gold. Or, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's a, it's a, you, you, you make Thanksgiving more uncomfortable for other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It's well, a great game. I'm still learning how to play, so it'll be embarrassing for me. Oh, Did Shadowrun good. start as that video game? I only know it from the video game. No, it was no, around was before that. Paper yeah. first. It was around in like early '80s, and it was like they, they were like cool things, like Comlink cell phones, and like <laughs> you know, pocket computers, cell phones again. Like, <laughs> 
small flashlight. <laughs> there was a fake internet. <laughs> yeah. Small yeah. flashlights. That was a huge component of Shadow Run. <laughs> yes. Cal- Selfie <laughs> generators. <laughs> Cell phone. Cat picture storage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lena Dunham buggers. <laughs> buggers? I don't know. It's a bog trotter, I think. Right. I'm sure she's feeling very bugged right now. <laughs> yeah. Spencer, do you want music where you uh, recap for me what happened or, uh, to catch me up to date for what's going on? Uh, me? No, no. I don't know what happened. What's the last thing you remember? Oh, God. I, I, I just, Nothing. Okay. Uh, well, that's, that's no, I mean, probably uh, safe. I mean, shoot. I mean, at some point, there was a, we were in a toilet. I know that. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a long time. Well, there was a bucket. There, we no were going back and forth we, in a bucket. We were, doing, oh, right. we were doing portal jumping through a bucket. Uh, and Bill, that was when I was around. Bill Mardigan's, and there was that. I don't, I don't know So what you went that's to uh, Stony... Uh, what was the book? Rose Book. Rose Book. You went to Rose Book. Right. Because there was intrigue happening in Rose Book with Father Tinder. He turned out to be a kind of unsavory sort of figure, and you're right. we snooping around in his juice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we were snooping? You were, yeah. Someone, someone attacked him and killed him. It turned out it was him. It was just a big trick to lure you guys out. He turned into a crazy demon, and then he got smote by the party. And um, then the police came up, and they didn't buy. They weren't, like, happy about the fact that you guys had killed their mayor. And um, so you guys booked it from the police, and then you guys didn't know what to do for, like, a long time. (laughs) And you went and talked to a lady named, I think, Charles, who was bathing in the swamp. And... (laughs) bothered her a while and then you left and then you ran into a fire elemental and Quark raped the fire elemental. That doesn't sound like Quark. (laughs) But the thing is fire elementals are made out of fire so uh, Quark's dick melted off. And he had it coming. (laughs) He really did. (laughs) You you live fast, die young. (laughs) Put your dick off in a fire demon. (laughs) If you can't stand the heat. Then keep, it, keep your dick out of the fire elemental. <laughs> then it turned out there was a secret magical shard of power. It was like a plot MacGuffin, and it was back at town. And um, it turned out that the frost giant, he stole it, and Admiral Darkstar went after that guy, the, the frost giant. Okay. And so you guys were like, let's go over there. And you were like, I don't know where to go. So you met up with a little boy named Lil Baskins. And... Uh, <laughs> He turned out to be, you know, not just a little boy, but like a little boy ghost. But despite being a ghost, he was a pretty cool guy. So he took you guys through the ghost way, and then you came out in a forest and ran into some gnolls who were trying to uh, come up with a uh, with an ambush, but they were too slow. And so they were going to fight. It seemed like they were going to fight. And then it turns out that they just wanted that blood book that uh, Sharpie had, and they offered to buy it. And then Sharpie acquiesced, and then he just sold the book and um people say pot is bad for your memory and you're (laughs) disproving that yeah i disprove all stereotypes about things i'm into (laughs) (laughs) it's nice it says the bearded role player in the super adventure brothers shirt (laughs) (laughs) that's harman town thanks for coming everybody (laughs) thank you very much Have a happy holiday. We'll see you in the new year.